Colorado. I'm gonna be running around this reservoir here. I am actually just getting my legs situated here. Got my water, my clock, some energy gels in there. I don't need any salt because I'm not gonna be sweating too much. I've been thinking about racing, I've been thinking about training, I've been thinking about competing, I've been thinking about all these things and I don't know about you, but I get on social media sometimes and I feel the pressure. I feel the pressure to perform, to do races, to do more, to be more, to be faster, be more amazing, train harder, come up with the best pictures, the best video messages to give you guys. And I ask myself, am I being authentic? Am I doing what I need to do for me? Am I doing it for me? Am I doing it to win the approval and to win the validation of other people that I don't even know? <laughs> oh, obviously I have sponsors, obviously I have people that are supporting me and they want to see me do well and they expect for me to do well and the pressure is there but I think I put more pressure on myself than anybody else or any situation or any time or PR or podium can ever put on me. If I need a podium or a PR or to beat some people in my age group to tell me that I'm great, I got a serious problem and when I first started I had, I had that drive, I had that, that will to do that. But as I kept on racing, as I keep on training and, and doing these races, it, it, it just dies. That, it doesn't mean anything to me anymore. I don't know if anybody else ever, ever felt like that. I'm a very competitive person, don't get me wrong. I'm super competitive. I gotta be the best, I got to be the best. But competing against other people and to, and to have that podium or that PR against people in my age group that have worked just as hard to reassure that within me I don't know about that I think every day I'm reassuring myself by coming out here and, and living life on my terms dreaming growing believing training hard every day I'm hitting PRs that nobody knows about because I don't sign up in races and do them nobody knows about it and every day I'm, I'm hitting mental breakthroughs in my mind in my career my finances in my investments, in my health and my fitness, in my relationships with my family, my friends. And I think that's where the gains are at. That's how I'm gauging my success. That's what success means to me. If you could be the best person that you can be successfully, be that person every single day, that's really what matters, man. Maybe you're, you're not an athlete and you're, you know, you wanna get that career and you wanna get that job title to, to add some credibility to your life. And what happens when you get there and, and you feel still feel empty, you know? I think that's that's a that that's the ultimate failure. I think <laughs> when you work so hard and you you've done so well, you've done the best that you can, but you still don't feel good enough. Okay, that was done. That's okay. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? My message to you, somebody out there, is don't let the pressures of social media, or your peers, or your network. Uh, pressure you to be something and do something that you don't want to necessarily do uh, people are going to love you just the way you are whether you're amazing and, and winning races and look great in a photo or if you're at home and you're supporting somebody who is in the spotlight you're, you're amazing no matter which role you are playing